ChatGPT4 is set to be released and it's going to change the game completely. If you thought ChatGPT3 was mind boggling, wait till you see what ChatGPT4 is about to do. So the rumors already have been set and the news was revealed by Andreas Braun, which is the CTO officer at Microsoft Germany. And essentially, he states that they will introduce GPT-4 next week. And according to him, they will have multimodal models that will offer completely different possibilities. For example, videos. So right off the bat, rumors, it's already been announced chat gpt4 or essentially who knows what they'll name it in essential news articles they're calling it gpt4 and i've seen some diagrams and i'll show you some of those later how crazy it's about to be and again this is just the tip of the iceberg we are just getting started and the progression with ai is quite mind-boggling so here are the states from digital trends GPT-4 is an underlying large language model technology that powers apps like ChatGPT. Right now, ChatGPT in its current stage, again, just to emphasize, it can only reply in text form, but it looks like they're about to change that. And from what I'm seeing, it seems that ideally it's going to go to more advanced things and turn towards images and even videos. And once AI can create artificial created videos similar to some of those photography image creating websites such as Midjourney, then it's going to be absolutely insane. And the fun fact is that this is something that I've learned recently is that Facebook actually created their own AI tool that makes a AI created video based off of short text prompts that you typed into it. And according to this article, it sounds like the new version of ChatGPT might be able to do something similar. So let's take a look at this meta version on examples that they created. And then let's see the possibilities that ChatGPT4 or GPT4 might be able to do. So this was last year of 2022, where meta created a DALI for video and it didn't really pop off. I didn't see much information, but here is some examples. And for example, the short prompt of an artist brush paints on a canvas close up. And from here, it's not too impressive. Obviously, it's impressive in the sense that it knows what the prompt is saying. However, if you were to go on any stock footage websites, type in this exact prompt, you probably would find some sort of paintbrush video and it's not i'd say too impressive based off this prompt and they say it's much harder mr zuckerberg says to create videos from prompts however here are some more examples so a young couple walking in heavy rain and you can see clearly from this video that the walk is slightly strange the angle it looks like it's sort of shifting however since this was created by full ai it's still quite impressive this part right here i'm not too sure if that is the back of a jacket because even if you've ever used uh mid journey or even the other ai images sometimes it makes the image look really weird because of the way you prompt whatever you wrote and from this particular example like even the umbrella it looks like it's like expanding again still mind-boggling that they have something like this and this is just from Meta's version. And they have even some more examples. So let's start with the last one here for the Meta AI version. And their captions of fluffy baby sloth with an orange knitted hat trying to figure out a laptop close up, highly detailed studio lighting screen reflecting in his eyes. So fluffy baby sloth, uh, doesn't look very fluffy to me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what fluffy sloth look like, but it did get the hat correct. It looks like the laptop's there and it has like a little eye, eye glare. So again, this is just some attempt at the so-called video AI creation. Now going back to GPT, AKA GPT-4, again, being multimodal, it's going to be quite insane based off of what they are predicting. Again, this is all rumored, 
But within the next few days, if everything goes as planned, we'll truly see the power of GPT-4. And one example it actually says is it allows AI to translate users' text into images, music, and video. So already we've seen uh, Mid Journey, I think Stable Diffusion, other AI image generation softwares that can do the images already. So we know that's the thing. Now, music, I'm not too familiar with the AI music. I've seen some sort of sound. If you record it, it can hear, but I've never, at least, and I'm sure if I research, I'll find something. But in terms of mainstream media, music generation, I haven't really heard too much. I've seen with ChatGPT, you could ask it a prompt, you know, write me lyrics, but that's still not audio version. And then video. Video is the biggest. If they perfect video, it's going to be literally game changing. It's, it's just some, some examples on how you can use it that I'm sure if you've never done content creation before, it, it's just going to be insane. Because I've already seen artificial intelligence Instagram pages or social media accounts where everything is faked pictures, the person, the character they created. Even on YouTube, there's uh, a few channels where they use a avatar ai avatar some look like a cartoon character others actual like more realistic but it's literally their voice but it's a fake uh actual avatar pretending to be like a a person in the video and some are like playing video games so you think it's a real person but it's really it's fake so if they can have that to where i'm sure i'm sure in a, literally by the end of this year or maybe next year it's going to be significantly updated. It's going to be a game changing. And here they give an example for businesses. For example, a call center could use GPT-4 to automatically convert phone conversations between employees and customers into text, which if you're in that space, I'm not familiar. I'm sure they already have that sort of thing where you can, uh, well, actually they do have that with like Google. If you, you were to put the audio microphone on, you can talk and it would essentially write out what you're saying, but that's not a phone call. So a phone call obviously is more private. There's definitely more complexity to that too. So that's gonna be interesting. And some more information is that ChatGPT is sort of like the clickbaity news title for ChatGPT4, but apparently it's not actually ChatGPT4. It's just GPT4, but they just put ChatGPT because that's what people recognize from my understanding. So who knows what they name it? Well, currently it's just known right now as GPT-4. And this image itself is even created with Midjourney, which you're not familiar, is an AI image generation where you type in a prompt, which I've mentioned a couple times earlier. And basically, according to these articles, GPT-4 is going to be levels above what GPT-3. And I think GPT 3.5 Turbo, again, there's so many different uh, little updates, but here's a little tweet by Emil. GPT 4 coming, but improved codex is the focus. Next codex release will be significant, so we'll have a smaller model size. DAO E will be public, that's interesting, and there'll be multi model, multi-modal models that will be that will beat the pure text models on text generated. So this stuff doesn't really make sense to the average person. But what I can do is actually, I'll show you some images. So here's one off the bat, this person, Travis. And again, they said, apparently they have privately announced a new develop feature. I'm not sure what he means by privately when I, it's right here in your face, but this essentially just shows the actual difference in GPT 3.5 with these new, essentially he calls it, well, these are DV for DaVinci, but apparently it's GPT 4, at least that's what he's assuming. And you can see the different costs. And basically in short, it's significantly better. If you don't understand this terminology, 32K, max context link or any of this stuff, essentially it's gonna be levels above. So let me show you some graphics of what I mean. So here's a little image and it's essentially saying that GPT 3 currently has 175 billion parameters and the rumor is that gpt4 will have a hundred trillion if i'm counting my numbers right hundred thousand hundred million billion trillion so that's going to be mind-boggling and there's some articles debunking this saying that that's just a load of nonsense but either way 
if it's even better than GPT-3 to how they're hyping it up, and it can do the video AI portion, that's already enough to convince me that the, it's levels above. And I'll leave it off with this image. And there's more images I've seen that talk more about the details, but potential, potential what it's saying is that it can recognize a picture and it can recognize the logic behind the picture. So for example, this bunny duck illusion image, it's essentially famous if you've ever seen this photo of it being essentially two different animals. And as an AI, you only can see what you can see. So it says it looks like a duck, then it says not a duck, then it says it looks like a bunny, and then it explains it because it has bunny ears. But in reality, the answer is that it's essentially both. The next thing is showcasing eight images and it chooses and says the following image, what is in the actual thing. And then these additional examples, it's giving sort of human traits. So it's saying, what is this photo about? Or why is it whatever the prompt is? So here's like, why is this photo funny? And then another example is, why did the little boy cry? And you can see like, it just recognizes the picture and knows exactly what it is going on. And this is just the start. This is just the beginning. And it's already levels above just a few months ago from it being released. So when GPT-4 does actually come out and it can do anything that these people are saying, the levels of improvement months down the road is gonna be actually pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be pretty scary. So let me know your thoughts on GPT-4 in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.